For nearly a year, Mali was spared the Ebola virus. But in less than a month, the country has confirmed two deaths. The most recent was packed by an imam who had traveled from Guinea to seek treatment at a clinic in Bamako. He died and so did the nurse who was treating him. Mali shares an 800-kilometer border with Guinea and has intensified screening measures at its border points to control the spread of Ebola. President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, who recently visited Kure Male, a town located 126 kilometers southwest of the capital Bamako, said he was personally commanding the country's response to prevent the spread of the deadly virus. The reason you see me here is that I am actively commanding the fight against Ebola. I want to apply rigorously and in a disciplined way the rules that you have been taught here. No one must cross the frontier without undergoing a health check and washing their hands. Nobody. During his visit, the president symbolically washed his hand and had his temperature taken. Mali says it has placed almost 600 people who may have been exposed to Ebola under surveillance as the country battles to contain the spread of the deadly tropical virus. A two-year-old child died of Ebola in an unconnected case in the western town of Kais in October. West Africa is currently suffering the worst Ebola epidemic in world history with at least 14,000 illnesses and more than 5,100 deaths so far. Nearly all of the cases have been in Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone. Wazir Khamsin, CCTV.